Must you inconvenience us so? I failed. Sorry about that. Heed my call. Heed my call. Rise of life, shine up. Let's keep moving. Lord Hubert, what were you doing in Fendel? We had heard you set off for Strata. I don't see any Fendel soldiers here. That's because they're gone. Just up and vanished one day without a trick. We figured they were up to something, so everyone's been on edge. The situation has changed. Our countries can't afford to fight each other right now. The three Valkanists have been completely drained of Elif. Our countries have come together in an attempt to resolve the crisis. Please, you must let us pass. Yes, of course. Here we go. Good. It looks like she's finally asleep. <laughs> Do you remember the last time the three of us came here? 
I didn't want to believe that strange girl was really Sophie. You were so sure. And I was convinced you were just trying to flee from the reality of what had actually happened. That's harsh, but also true. Hey, Asbel, let me help you. I'll carry Sophie this time around. Are you sure? She looks tiny, but she's actually pretty heavy. Don't worry, I can do it. One, two, three... Ooh. <coughs> wow, she is a lot heavier than she looks. I told you, right? Here, let me take her. No, I said I'll do it. And I just... I want to be close to her right now. This was here all this time. This ship will take us to Fodra? I can't imagine how it would even fly. Oh, so that's it. Can you make it work? Hold on, I'm getting there. Looking. Oh, that's nothing. We're just getting started here. Let me see. So if the shuttle actually works... Wow, okay. We've got two zappy heat ray cannons. One in Strata and one in Fendel. They're designed to fire simultaneously and focus on a single point in the aquasphere. Oh, man. This is crazy cool. How can we use the cannons if they're in two separate countries? I think we can control them from here. Looks like we can adjust the angles and everything. Oh, nuts. <laughs> is something wrong? Well, the cannon in Strata is fine, but the one in Fendel is busted or something. Of course it is. Yeah, it's not responding. I'm gonna have to go there and see if I can figure it out. But then... Assuming everything else works, the shuttle is piloted remotely, so we need someone to stay here and fly it. Is that something one of us can do? Maybe me, but... Yeah, I don't know. You need real technical know-how to pull it off. I'd ask my sister, but I don't think she's talking to me right now. Anyway, we can worry about that later. I'll ask the Overseer or something if it comes to it. Right now, we should focus on getting to Fendel so I can fix the cannon. It's in a facility on the far side of Fendel Mountain Pass, up near Velenik. Right. Let's get moving. from that cocoon are causing all kinds of trouble. They've ordered all civilian ships to stop sailing into or out of Fendel. Sounds like we'd better hurry. Right. Let me just do a little tap a tap a ka chunk here. You okay. Bon voyage! What was that? Richard's monsters, I imagine. They were headed toward Lant. No! We should get to Lant immediately. They'll need our help. Come on, let's move! Come on, let's hurry back to Lant. Calm down! When you get excited like this, you lose sight of everything around you. 
You need to analyze the situation rationally. Yeah, but that's why you're here, Hubert. Analyzing situations is your job. You know that's not me. If there's something I have a chance of protecting, I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's safe. That's what Sophie taught me. I see. Then perhaps I should stop holding back. Well enough then. If I ever see you slacking off in this department, I will let you know in no uncertain terms. Good. I'm counting on it, Hubert. Won't take long! Right. right! Not yet! You won't! You're mine! Now! You're mine! You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. <laughs> Everyone did as well as could be expected.
They did it! Asbel's men defeated the monsters! Sophie, you okay? Hold on. Thank you, Asbel. You helped save us all. It's hard to believe that a tiny girl like her could do all that. Please get her back to the manor, so she can get some rest. I'll take care of things around here. Asbel, Hubert, I'm so glad you're safe. You've been gone for so long, I was worried I might never see you. I'm sorry for the concern, Mom. We'll explain everything later. Frederick, could you please get a room ready? Sophie needs to rest. Your own room is already prepared, Master Asbel. It's fine. Thank you. She tries to protect us. Makes me feel kind of lame. Come in. I apologize for intruding at such a time. Bailey is downstairs and wishes to speak with you. I asked him to wait in the study for now. Should I? Hmm. No, that's fine. Keep an eye on Sophie, all right? We'll be right back. companions save the people of Launt. We are in your debt. And Asbel, you... you saved my... Any of us would have done the same. How is your friend doing? She's resting, but she's not feeling well. That poor girl. She's suffering for helping us. No, she's been in failing health for a while now. But thank you for your concern. Will you stay in Launt? Unfortunately, no. We have pressing business elsewhere. We have to save Sophie. And Richard, too. I see. We have a long road ahead of us to make that happen. I trust you'll take care of things while we're gone. Asbel, perhaps I have... Thanks, Bailey. If you'll excuse me. I swore long ago that I would be the one to protect everyone. But once again, Sophie was the one who saved us. It has been very difficult seeing Launt turned into a battleground once more. I try and I try, but what if I never find the strength to protect those most important to me? How much more must we endure before we reach the ideals we strive for? Dad. 
You're thinking. This worries me. I'm thinking about our father, about how I rebelled against his authority. I thought that becoming a knight was all I needed to protect the people I loved, but I was wrong. It wasn't enough. I wasn't ready to be the Lord of Launt. It was just a title they hung around my neck. What thoughts did Dad have as he lived and died as the Lord of Launt? You're a lot like your father was. Uh, Mom? He spent all of his time worrying about us and wondering if he was doing the right thing. But he hid that concern behind a mask of strength and discipline. When the two of you left, he thought of almost nothing else. And he worried that his decisions, no matter how well-intentioned, had caused you both to suffer. It's hard to imagine him thinking like that. Feelings were never your father's strong suit. He was never able to express how much he loved you both, and it frustrated him to no end. I know the two of you are going through a lot right now, but what matters is that you keep trying to do what you believe is right. Your father used to say that. He raised you well, whether you realize it or not, and his spirit will help you in the dark days to come. Just remember, whatever path you take, and if your father were here, he would say the same. Mom. Welcome back, Asbel. Sophie, wait. Don't get up. I'm okay. Hey, Sophie. I'm here. We'll heal you, Sophie. I promise. All right, let's get back to Fendel and fix that heat ray cannon. Do you know the exact location, Pascal? Yep, we can take the road that leads from North Lawn to Velenik. The cannon is just past Fendel Mountain Pass. Hang in there, Sophie. We're almost home. I will. <laughs> Boys, wait! Please, take this with you. What is it? Just a little basket of goodies. I made all your old favorites. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're the best mom ever! You are too kind, Lady Carrie. Thanks, Mom. Take care of each other. You too. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. 